guys. Hi. So basically, we're obviously still in lockdown. So we're going to be doing the video over FaceTime. Not sure how it's going to go, but we're going to try best of the editing skills. Yay. <laughs> so we're going to do a um, girl advice, boy advice type video. What do you, what do you even call them? Um, girl talk. Advice from the sisters you never had. By the way, if I look to this way, it's because Isabel's on FaceTime there. Like, apologies. So this is so my whole family it. like walking around the house and I just, my dad like walked past my room and just said social media influencer. <laughs> so Honestly, Jason's the cutest. I would like to say. And also, we asked on Instagram for the um, sit scenario situations and I've had to write them down. Like, is this the 18th century? Um, <laughs> because I'm using my phone and my iPad. Also, I'm not got my glasses on because I look ugly on my glasses, so I can't see very well. Should we go? Blind. She's frozen. Is this a joke? Oh, no. Like is it working? It's actually frozen. Oh, no. Is it working? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, keep back, keep back. Oh, keep back, keep back. oh my god, oh my you god, you just slow motion. You were like, yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> right. So the first, how to pop up a boy that you, how to pop up to a boy that you like. <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> so quick disclaimer: we're not professionals. So like, if you actually need advice, do it from friends. <laughs> Well, just all light hearted, bit of fun. Yeah. I'm gonna eat some chocolate now. Got some hydrating drinks, water. Right, let's let's go. We're on Zoom now. Sorry if our um, if my what's it called? Background Lying. all that's changed, okay. lighting's changed, whatever. We had a bit of a bit of a nightmare. We're now on Zoom. Hashtag twenty twenty. Twenty. I feel like I'm at uni to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the meeting ID. <laughs> oh, I had a Zoom this morning, you know. Did you? Yeah. Not a vibe. <laughs> um, how to pop up to a boy that you like? Be fair, you could like pop up to a story. Or... Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking. So maybe like maybe friends, maybe, maybe on the private story. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Or like if you're not friends friends, but like kind of friends, you could add him to your private story. Mm. Or yeah, to be I fair, know. you could literally just be like, hi, because the worst thing that would happen is like, they... yeah. no, I'm not being with the worst thing that would happen is they ignore you and like. I feel like you need to play it a bit cooler. Mm. The thing is, when you overthink it and play it too cool, that's when it goes wrong. Maybe if you like going to the same party or something, or you saw each other at a party, you could be like, I don't know, like, or how you get it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, what's it the difference? Like, you know, like, they might not have, like, spoken before. Do you know what I mean? Like, true. Like, it, I it, like, it's it's it easy. could be easy if you've never spoken before, though. It could be easy if you've never spoken before, though. Um, I, don't, I don't think so, because you have to, like, start from scratch, like, if you're already friends with that person, and then it's so. like, well, I guess, it's, just like I guess there's nothing to lose. No, that's why. Like, that's them. why I'm being like, just say hi or something like, because like, if you yeah. don't know them at all, then in that situation, you could just say hi. Yeah. I think if you like half friends, and you just need to get like the conversation going a bit more like, about like stuff like you, I don't know, that you've got in common. Maybe you just need to. Like, oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I can see so much better now. I'm alive, but I'm dead. I'm alive and I'm dead. Right, so yeah. Next one. Um, I'm falling for a fuckboy. I think the thing is, you know, with like fuckboys and that, sometimes they're not fuckboys and they've just got that like yeah. label. Well, if they are, um, it's not worth it, is all I'm saying. Like, if you know yourself yeah. that they're a fuckboy, then how are you ever going to trust them? That's so, I have issues with that. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you've already called them a fuckboy before you're with them. So if you were with them, like, imagine what you'd be like. It's just not oh, worth it. You'd be constant paranoia, wouldn't it, really? 
Yeah. Pe people do say like you can change a fuck boy or whatever. Like, do you think you can? I don't know. No, no but, like, you're not a therapist. That's not your job. job that's to go like, yeah, like, you're not meant, yeah, yeah that's, like, that's, not that's true. Like, you're not that's meant to be able to change them. Like, they should just be perfect for you. Yeah, they should just be perfect for you anyway. Like, why should you have to make him true? Why should you have to make him true? Exactly. Exactly. Girl power. Girl power. But I think at the same time, though, like, it depends what they like because obviously someone could be a fuckboy and then they meet the right person and they might completely change. So like, yeah, that, that. you can't exactly like initially just call them a fuckboy and like bin them off because they might be nice. I don't know. I'd say give them a chance and then if you're still thinking, oh, he's got other girls yes, on the yeah. game, it's not yeah. worth it. It's a kind of two one kind of thing. thing. I, I think, think my, my boyfriend, boyfriend has cheated, cheated on me. What, what should, should I do? do? I think first. Annoying. Annoying. I'm paranoid that I'm not paranoid. 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 I'm not I think my boyfriend has cheated on me. Help. I think, first of all, here, we need, like, the clarification. You don't want to be making moves, you know, like, punching him, you know, having a go, and he's not even cheated on you. But what I, but what I think as well, what if he's not cheated on you, and then you're going around being like, have you cheated on me? And he's like, yeah. what? Like, no. That would just, ru like that would ruin things, I would, I would say. Awesome. Yeah, so I think we need the clarification first, like, look at his phone. If you've got to look at his phone, look at his phone. See, I think yeah. I think that's proper, like, bad. I don't. If you're, like, 99% sure, then I would just look at his phone. I actually don't know what I'd do if I thought they were cheating, because, like... You just, just be too paranoid, paranoid like, I just want to know. know. Yeah, if you're paranoid, though, in the first place, like, should you be with them? Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That is true. That, that is, is true. true. But, true. But at the same time, I actually don't know how I'd go about that. So that's that's actually a really sticky one. I just talk to him about it, like talk to him about yeah. it and say like the reasons you think he has. They're all defensive about it, like, oh no, I haven't, no, I haven't. Then he has. So let's be real. Yeah, hundred percent. That's actually really good. You could just like don't accuse him of anything, but just be like, right. Mention the things like say you saw him like with a girl. Like, oh, what were you doing on Friday night? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like don't don't like go off on one until you definitely know though, because yeah. Because then it'd be so embarrassing if like... Then what if you like definitely know, what do you do then? If you definitely know, then you obviously need to like confront him. Obviously. I was on Twitter though when people do it in like really good ways. I think I'd be that person that does it in like a good way. Really? What kind of voice is it? I can't remember but like... They like, they text things and be like, oh like where were you? And then they know all the information and they're like, oh were you with Emma or someone? Do you know what I mean? Like. Like, you know already, so like, yeah, you like, I, I know who this girl is. Was, how was how Emma's was last, night? last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah things like that. Things like that. Like, 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 you like, if we're with someone they cheated on you, would, would you like bring up with them straight away? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would yeah, too. Because like, what, what would be the reason that, like, to stay? Stay Like, you are a mug so if you stay. <laughs> like, do you know um, Khloe Kardashian? Yeah. Yeah. Embarrassing. How is she not embarrassed? She's literally been cheated on twice, and I think she's back with him again. Yeah. It, That's just embarrassing. Right. Like everyone would just like laugh at you as well and be like, "You're just stupid." Yeah. Are you actually class is cheating though. It, anything like flirt, even like flirting, is cheating in my eyes. I guess it depends on the person. Like, if they're a naturally flirty person, you know it's like with no intentions and like, you know. I, I just think anything like romantic is flirt is um, cheating. Yeah, like. Me too. I'm so glad you said I, that. To be honest. Yeah, I like. I don't understand why people think that certain things like, are. You know when cheating, people like, are like, oh, I just kissed you in the club when I was. That doesn't. That doesn't count as cheating. Oh, you, you don't just think that's cheating? Cheat. No, I do think it does. Just because oh, you... Because yeah, they use, like... Some people don't count that. Yeah, because they use cheat, um, being drunk as an excuse. 
don't think that's anything to do with it. To be honest. Cut him off. Cut him off, sis. Move, that moves on to our second like point in this. Um, should I give him a second chance? Like, do you think she's cheat? Her boyfriend's cheated on her. Should she give him a second chance? No. no. <laughs> Simple as no. No. That's all I have to say. Because you can do so much better as well than someone who's literally cheated on you. I don't like certain, like certain situations, but like I can't even think of any situation where you should get back. Like, as much as it breaks your heart and you want to get with back with him, I just don't think in the long run it's worth it. Like, if they've cheated on you once, they will do it again, 100%. And it's obviously, like, in the mind that, like, you weren't good enough. Like, yeah, and you don't want to feel like that with someone. You want them, you want to know that they, like, fully love you. Yeah, exactly. So, so. to deal with being the only single friend in your friend group? Uh, <laughs> I'll <answer. laughs> um, It's actually quite sad, I'm not going to lie. I'm <laughs> actually the only one though, that's why you've got loads of single friends. Um, actually, right, so I'll, I'll, um, actually, right, so I'll, so I'll, I'll explain. explain. Okay. So in my, my friend group, I think me and two other of my me friends. Me and two other of my friends are single. And then. Are single. And then. second choice because it's like if you involve like your friends not like they should be involved in your relationship but if you're with your friends and your boyfriend yeah it should be like awkward oh but i think like one of my friends like proper like involved me i feel like she'll know who she is so shout she out to you she like uh. she like honestly like really cared about her boyfriend meeting all our all her friends which i think is like a good thing yeah, definitely. Because, like, we were going to be in, like, situations when we were together and stuff. So I just want to say, I feel like if you have a boyfriend, you need to make sure, like, you don't just, like, ditch your friends. Because at the end of the day, when you, like, break up with this, with this person, like, you won't have any friends left. So, stupid. I apologise about how wonky my glasses are. I'll just address the situation in general. My glasses are so wonky, like... I think I have a wonky face. Also, I don't know how to look at the camera. I think I have like wonky ears or something. But like, let's please try and ignore the situation. Like, I know they're literally like this in my face. They literally are, but we're not filming this video again. So, because if we film it again, then I feel like we just get bored talking about the same things. But anyway, also this video is taking so long to edit because I can't find another clip of Isabel. Anyway. If you're watching the next, if there's any more to watch after this, that means I found the clip. So, woo, pray for me. But yeah, sorry about the um, slight wonkiness of the glasses. Um, I have the biggest crush on my best friend. How do I make it into something else? Oh. Actually, this is quite good for me because I was trying to do a before. Oh yeah, tell everyone how that went about then. Um, um, <laughs> <so> <laughs> <awkward>. <laughs> I think you'll just like know if they like you back. I don't know. 
the thing is though, know, like it's I was, I was like ninety like, percent sure that we'll like me back. Like not gonna lie. And I knew that he was such a pussy that he wasn't gonna do anything about it. <laughs> Cause like it was like I didn't make it very obvious that I liked him, if you know what I mean. So I just when I was drunk I just said like kind of like <laughs> Do you love so awkward but like he was never gonna do anything about it so like girl power whatever no but the, yeah, yeah the thing is with that though like if a situation. situation wait sorry go, go on. on you go on i was gonna say you just need to like assess the situation like i feel like if they like you back like you'll just have a feeling and like at the end of the day, like if they are truly your best friend, then nothing's gonna change if you like you mention it and then Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. What if like it gets really awkward after that if they don't like you back? Like I guess you've just got to like think like what what's more worth it, I don't know. So true. Like if you if you kinda of fancy them but you like this'll pass, then it's not worth yeah. it. Yeah. But if like you really truly do then like, but if, if you, you think, think that you're, you're, that you're, you're soulmate, soulmate mm. then just, yeah. just oh, go with what you want Yeah, and then just be like, if you don't like me back, it's fine. But I don't want it to be yeah. awkward. Could say something like that. Uh, like, I that's a really difficult one, actually. That is, I wouldn't know what to do. Well, that's, that's so awkward. awkward. That's a horrible situation. <laughs> like, I don't know, it, it literally happens, like, kind of happened to me, so I don't really know. It just, it just I just know. Like, yeah, just if you know that they fancy you, it's fine, but if you don't, that's... that's like, like, all, all my friends, friends were telling me for, like, months. That he fancied you. And I was like, no, he doesn't. doesn't. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. <laughs> Look at you now. <laughs> um, how to tell a boy you don't like them in that way. I think this is a really difficult one as well. Yes, yeah, I think like, it, it depends on the situation. Like, if he's been been a dickhead, then like just cut him off, just delete him. Yeah. Like, I, don't I don't know. know like, if you don't like, like him because he's done something wrong, wrong and you're like, right, I can't like him anymore. Then I just delete him. But like, on the other hand, if he's like really nice, just give me over the vibes. Yeah, I feel like they will figure it out as well. Like. Yeah, no, if they're clever enough, then obviously they'll figure it out and be like, shit, something's not right. Yeah. And, and that may, might make them not like you as well. Like, because why would you like someone who's been like weird with you? I wouldn't like that person. It just depends though on the situation as well. Like, Shall I go into the next one? Yeah. I feel like we're getting through these quite fast. Oh, we're doing quite well. Right, um, I'm falling for my best friend's boyfriend. I just don't think this is a thing. Like, I'm sorry, like, how does that even happen? Like, if it is happening, don't do anything about it. Like, do not try no, anything. No. I just don't think that's horrible. Like, my best friend's boyfriend should just not seem like an option. Like, you wouldn't... Do you know what like, I mean? You know what I mean? That's just weird to me. Like, I would never look at any of my friend's boyfriends and be like, I want a PC. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, like that's disgusting. Like, like, you should see him as, like, a brother. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this similar vibe. Like, you will not... You shouldn't fancy them. Like, yeah, that's like, like, it's this is not an option in your whole life. life. No. To be honest. And if you do decide to do anything, that's horrible and yeah. you're a horrible person. That's disgusting, to be honest. honest. Yeah, because, like, you will lose your best friend over a boy and boys are not worth it. Over okay. a silly boy. And the, realistically, is the, your best friend's boyfriend going to want to be with you? Probably not. No, to be fair, like, if you fancy your best friend's boyfriend, like, they would have gone for you, like, rather than your best friend. That's true, because obviously, like, you're in the same area and stuff. Yeah, like, same friendship group or whatever. But do not do anything, that's all I'm saying. It's stupid. That is it's disgusting. And yes. disgusting, and boys are not worth it, so. Peace out. Yeah, boys, boys aren't worth losing friendship, friendship to them. No, exactly. True. Especially good ones, best, best friend. friend. Exactly. Right. If a boy ignores me on Snapchat for over five hours, what does this mean? I would say if it happens once, then like it's not that deep. Like it could literally just be like he forgot to answer. Like yeah, yeah I, I think, think it, it depends, depends on, on like the boy, boy as well. Like, like Will yeah, leaves me a little bit for ages because just, just like he just, he doesn't like going his phone that much. Yeah, which is like fair enough. But if it's I like, feel like boys are really like not going on their phone like. I feel like girls go on their phones a lot more than boys. Like, we'll be, like, looking at the Snapchat, like, seeing how long it's been. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, I think if it's, like, continuous, 
that's where the yeah. issue yeah. is. Because I would take that as like a shit. Especially in like the current circumstance, like realistically what else are we meant to be doing but going on our phones? Yeah, because we're in lockdown. Yeah, not, you're, not, you're not going on a five hour run, are you? So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Less is a marathon runner. Yeah. <laughs> no. I think you need to get the best. Yeah, and I think... If also, so like, do you want a boyfriend who's taking five hours, hours to reply? Exactly, I was going to say, if they're taking that long, then why do you want to continue talking to them? Because it's yeah, like, I think, I think not fun. If they take five hours to reply on the regular, it's a no. Yeah, it'd be boring as well, wouldn't it? Like, even if, they're not, if they're not purposely doing it, like, why would you want to just wait five hours? Exactly. exactly. For like, I'm not really trying to carry on that conversation. Yeah. Exactly. You know, that is a big ick, actually. <laughs> like, it's probably so Not the one. Yeah, not the one. Right, how to get over a breakup? Uh, I don't know. I don't really know where people are. <laughs> yeah, we're the most. We've never been through that. Um, I, I'm trying to think. I, I feel like you'd glow up. Not a glow up, like a self esteem glow up. Uh, be like, I think take time to yourself and like be single for a bit. Work on yourself. Yeah. And oh, yeah. feel better. Make yourself a nice Tinder. Yeah, get Tinder. Yeah, it's fun. It is fun. Like, even if you're not looking for anything, like, it's so fun, isn't it? Like, just to mess yeah. yeah. I don't have Tinder, by the way, just going to tell But, like, if, no, to be fair, you don't have to get a Tinder straight away because that might be like a no, bit not. I would say leave leave it a bit and work on yourself and like just relax yeah. just like because i feel like if you're in a bath watch, watch the movies watch the yeah. movies like i was i feel like you would need time to like be sad like you you should let yourself be sad for a bit yeah 100 percent. i think that's like, depending on how it ended as well. as well yeah that's the thing it depends how long you've been with them as well like if it's been a long time then you might have had like issues and stuff with them and like I feel like yeah. that will stay with you, so you do need to just like forget about it and just like have time. What do you think about like photos and stuff, like deleting photos? I, do you know what? Shall I tell them about my envelope? My yeah. Book. Right. This is like I saw this on the Kardashians. I think it's a really good idea. So if you've had like an ex-boyfriend or like you've fallen out with someone or whatever, and you've got loads of photos of them, then there's like this thing that you can do, like either a box or like an envelope put all the photos in there and then just like put it in a drawer and like because you don't want to get rid of the memories completely do you so i think they called it an xbox on yeah. the kardashians <laughs> but like just put all the things that remind you of them away but i wouldn't say get rid of them because they're still a part of your life and in like 20 years you'll look back and be like oh like do you remember when I was with him? Like, oh, yeah. like it shouldn't always be negative. Especially it's been a long time. Like, you've probably like changed because of them. Not because of them, but like, do you know what I mean? Okay, so I think like photos are a good thing in a way because like the memories shouldn't be like forgotten just because you don't like. Yeah, like when, when you're like older and your kids like ask, "Oh, who's your first boyfriend?" Or you wouldn't have a picture. picture. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like it's just kind of interesting. I've never asked my mum though. No, I've friend. never asked mine. I don't really want to, I don't know why. Uh, spend time with your friends, like spend so much time with your friends. Yeah. And like, the like if it's not like corona and stuff, then I think like, do your makeup, like even do your makeup now, like go out for like, go out for drinks, just have a bit of fun. Like you've not got to get with like whole sweaty men in the club to get over a breakup, like just go have fun with your friends. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. Yeah, I think like, you need like to be distracted as well. So getting yeah. out with your friends does help with your distractions. Concentrate on yourself as well. Mm. Like, get them good grades, do your job, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you work don't on need, yourself. You don't need to stop your head, entire maybe. life for a boy. Post some peng selfies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Make him a little bit jealous, then it'll be quite fun. Yeah. I'm, I'm like one of the people, I kind of like the drama of things. So, like, I think <laughs> if I did break up with someone, I would be like... Make a private story just for them. Yeah, be like, moving on without you. Living <laughs> my best, best life now. now. Love my girlies. <laughs> Get some random man in the street. Um, excuse me, can I take a picture of you? <laughs> that is something that I would do, I think. Love up. Yeah, that would be so funny. Um, 
So yeah, they're just some fun ways, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Maybe not actually do that last week. Yeah. I would. Might be a bit toxic. <laughs> Um, how do you feel about friends with benefits? Do you think it can work? No, it never works. I think, it, for me, I don't think it could ever work. I think I Because, like, not... someone could hold the door for me and I'd, like, fall in love. Yeah, literally. <laughs> but, like, every person that I know who's, like, done it has just ended up in love with them. Like, I'm not being dramatic, but... Uh, yeah, honestly. Constant in love. Like... It, I just don't think it I can think, work. no, I think for certain people it could probably can work. Like, certain people, like, they just have, like, no emotional connection. Mm, yeah. Uh, I think the thing is, though, like, if you do it occasionally, maybe it can work. But if you like doing it quite often, that's when you're, like, you start getting feelings and stuff. Yeah, because, like, I wouldn't want to be in a friends with benefits situation and then sleep with someone else as well. No. Cause but, like, that's what it's meant to be, like. In his that goes through, that's a bit grim. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because you don't know where they've been, like, no. I know. Cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> clink, clink. Clink, clink. So, yeah, personally, it would, couldn't work for me. Yeah, But no. I guess if you want to give it a go, then I'd see. But if you start to feel the feelings and you know it's, like, off the cards, then I would stop. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Unless you actually do, like... Like, I suppose, like, there could be a situation where if you get with them, then it might work out. It depends how they feel. Yeah, I guess. That doesn't make me feel a bit sick. I always think it's, like, a 30-year-old thing. Yeah. yeah, me too. Like, 30 year olds that can't find. <laughs> yeah, literally. Not a fan. So, that was the last question. Well, like, what's the situation? Topic? Advice. Let us know if you want us to do more of these videos because it's kind of fun. Hopefully, we'll be together when we do the next one so it'll be less of a faff. Yeah. We'll be having some drinks. Oh, like, like, yeah, like, 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 like,